Thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum. I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company taking a look at some of the strange boxes on legs that they're going to be selling in their upcoming Premier Firearms Auction in April of 2018. And we have today John Hall's patented clock gun. And this was in fact designed for scaring birds. This is a box that you can lock, and uh, inside it we have a clock and a 12-shot 12 gauge pinfire shotgun mechanism. And this thing is a strange device intended to fire, uh, well, kind of whenever you want it to, but on a schedule up to once an hour for 12 hours. Let's take a closer look. Jay Hall was Mr. John Hall. He was a resident of Northern England, specifically, as you can see painted on there, Wigton, Cumberland, uh, Cumberland County. And he patented this in Great Britain in 1902. So, happily, we know exactly when it comes from. Now, this was a his patent actually specifically says that this is intended for scaring away birds. The idea being you could set it up and once an hour, all through the day, regularly, it would fire off a blank shotgun shell and presumably scare off any birds in the vicinity. Uh, I can certainly see other applications for it. My initial thought before I found the patent was that it was for something like uh, work crews, uh, you could think uh, lumberjacks, farmhands, some way to have basically the equivalent of a, an audible clock, something like a church bell except uh, for a specific work location. You know, you set it so that it fires at you know, the beginning of lunch and the end of lunch break and the end of the day, and, and it's something that people in, you know, far and wide on a work site can hear. But no, uh, Hall apparently intended it for scaring birds. Anyway, let's open it up and see what's inside. So the whole thing opens up like that. And if you want to read the official instructions, there they are. I'll let you go ahead and pause that. I am going to go on to describing the mechanism. Basically, what we have here is a wooden block that I can take out, and then we have a bar. This bar acts as a breech block, and down here are 12 basically barrel stubs, and they have little notches in the top. These are 12 gauge pinfire shotgun chambers, and of course, if you're not familiar with pinfire shells, they basically have a primer. Uh, well, they have a pin sticking out the side of the base of the cartridge, and when you hit that pin in towards the center of the cartridge, that's what fires it. This was an early style of metallic cartridge before everyone really standardized on center fire. And 1902 is actually a bit late uh, for this to be uh, in common use, but uh, well, they were still around for sure, and I guess especially in rural sort of farming areas that might need to scare away lots of birds. Anyway, to use this thing, what you would do is put your cartridges in here. Uh, if you wanted this thing to fire once an hour, you would put in all 12, or for however many hours you wanted it to fire. If you wanted less than that, you only put in the ones that you actually want to use. Then, there we go. Then you put the steel bar in the back to uh, seal off the breeches, and we can put this wooden thing down there just to make it look nice. Now what actually fires this thing are a series of 12 separate steel weights. And this is nothing but a solid bar of steel. And what you would do is you would set one in each of the, well, above each of the shells that you have loaded down here, and it sits on top of a string. So we have a little cotton string right here connected to this spindle. And you would very delicately set this in there, and so it's resting. Yeah, so it's resting on the string. And when this thing falls, it's going to go straight down to the bottom, where it will come down and land right on one of those pinfire pins, thus detonating the cartridge. What makes it detonate, of course, is when the string fails to hold it up. So. Each of the strings comes through this hole and then attaches to the clock. There are notches cut here equivalent to every 15 minutes of travel for the hour hand of the clock. You'll notice back here the minute hand 
uh, has a pointer that's bent straight up, so it's not going to actually interfere with these strings. The hour hand, however, has a little teeny razor blade attached to it. And so what I would do is take my string, and I'd put it in there like that, and pull it taut, and I'd have a steel bar sitting on top of this string, so that's going to put a lot of tension on it. And as the clock turns, this hand is going to come into contact with that nice taut string, and it's going to slice the string, which releases the bar, which falls, hits the shotgun shell, and fires. Presto! All your birds have been scared away for hopefully an hour. Danger? Uh, yes, definitely danger. Down here are the, uh, the muzzles of your 12 shotgun barrels. So uh, you wouldn't actually have a live shell in there, you would use a blank, because, well, it's just intending to make noise. I don't know how many of these were made in total. I can't imagine it's a huge number, because I can't picture all that many people figuring that, oh, I've finally found the solution to birds in my field. On the other hand, they do show up from time to time. Uh, if you go online and search for them, you'll find them at more than a few uh, different auction sites periodically. Uh, it seems like more, more often in England than here in the United States, which makes sense because that's where they were patented and presumably manufactured. Um, but definitely a unique and interesting take on uh, what you can do with a gun and a clock. So if you'd like to have this particular one, it is a pretty good intact example with all the moving bits. I don't know exactly what it would take to get the clock working, but I'm sure someone can figure that out. Uh, if you take a look at the description text below the video, you'll find a link to Rock Island's catalog page for this thing. Uh, that has their pictures, description, price estimate, everything else you would need to know about it. So you can participate in the auction live here in Rock Island, or right through their website. Thanks for watching.